Hello everyone, VegasVic1965 and this week's video we're back with the Villager series again and we're taking a look at the Armorer Villager. So, without further ado, let's find out. Welcome back everyone, VegasVic1965, and of course uh, to get yourself an armor uh, villager you will need a blast furnace and, and of course a villager, but uh, to get that blast furnace uh, we are going to need some materials here. You'll see down in my hot bar we're going to need five iron ingots, a furnace, and we'll need three smooth stone. Now if you're wondering, if you don't know already because some of you may not know, how do you get smooth stone? Well you're going to first pop in some a cobble unless you already have stone and you'll cook that and you'll get yourself some stone and then from stone you cook that and you will get yourself some smooth stone come down to your crafting table pop the items that you need which are five iron ingots a furnace and of course three smooth stone that'll get you a blast furnace and then set that down for your villager and then he will turn into provided he has never been traded with before he will turn into a armorer villager so once you have your armor or villager, you're probably wondering, do I need to cycle this guy? Because in some of my videos, I show you how to cycle through some villagers, like the farmers and the librarians. These guys, you can or can't. It really doesn't matter. You're not going to see the really good trades until much later. Uh, but you will uh, may want to tr may want to break their workstation and reset it if you're not getting the kind of trades you need for the items that you're going to be trading them. And and the example I mean is, if you've got plenty of emeralds, then it really doesn't matter. Uh, you can trade for the items that they have initially if they don't have a coal trade. But if you have an abundance of coal, and that's something that you need in order to level these guys, then by all means, break that workstation and set it back down, provided, like again, as, as I said earlier, that he's a villager you never traded with before. Because once you trade with any villager, that's going to lock them into that profession and, of course, the trades that they initially came with when you traded with them initially. So uh, if you are looking to do a coal trade, again, just break the workstation and then uh, place it back down and when you, and keep doing that until you get the coal trade that you need if you have an abundance of that to level these guys. So up on the screen I'm going to list all of the items that you're going to see that these villagers will have both in bedrock which will be on the left and you'll have uh, Java version on the right hand side. Now if you notice on the left hand side for bedrock their trades they will have nine trade items that they'll have available when they become a master. The items you see highlighted in kind of like a red or reddish orangish color you will always always get those trades any of the other items will be will be one of the ones on the right but the highlighted ones you'll always get and when it comes down to the lower trades it's kind of a, a crap shoot so to speak on which ones you're going to get so you may need a few if you're looking to get the the diamond armor because you may for bedrock unfortunately they don't get it like java does on java side if you look on the right side uh, theirs is pretty much a crapshoot for any of the items they're going to get. They're going to get 10, and they're only going to get so many per level, per level, per trade. But they will all, but for Java version, they'll always end up getting a full set of diamond armor once they reach master. Now, the items that you're going to get out of there, now that we're done with that, uh, the items you're going to get, uh, the diamond gear that you're going to get out of there really depends on luck. Uh, it's, a lot of it is luck. And the reason I say that is, uh, more than likely, uh, if, you, if, you, if you get really lucky, then one of the diamond armor pieces that you're going to get is going to have something like this. Or let's just go take a look at this one here. This is a prime example of a very, very good armor or villager. He has Unbreaking 3 on the diamond leggings. You can also get the same thing for the other pieces uh, on maybe another villager. It's just, it just really comes down to having luck. So you're not always going to get that. You'll get a variety of different enchants on there. But this is probably by far the best. Because when you go to enchant your items from these armor armorer villagers, uh, there is a, going to be a penalty each and every time that you use an anvil to, uh, to upgrade your items by putting a book on them. So by having something like this, a diamond leggings unbreaking three, that's one less penalty and less levels that you will use uh, as far as enchanting your items, so it saves you a little bit of work. So if you are lucky enough to get the Unbreaking 3 in any one of these items, you'll be in great shape. Now something I do want to make sure I point out to you, um, we'll take a look at this one right here as a good example. This chest piece has Protection 3 and Unbreaking 3. In my opinion only, and also I've, I've done some research on this, but this is not about enchanting. The Protection th the Unbreaking 3 on this is great, Protection 3 is great, Protection 4 is obviously better. But uh, you, from this one here, you can actually put Protection 4 on it. On a case where you cannot, and I'll show you what to do since you cannot do that, 
is this one right here. You'll see this has Unbreaking 3 and Fire Protection 2. A big no, no, no. Let's see which one that was. Here we are. This is Unbreaking 3, which is awesome. Unfortunately, it has Fire Protection 2. You cannot put Protection 4 on this. There's already a Fire Protection Enchant on here. The only thing you can do is upgrade the Fire Protection Enchant on that on that piece so if you're looking for the you're excited because you got the unbreaking three but you got some sort of other protection on there uh you're more than likely just going to have to take that enchant take that enchant off and how you do that from these pieces if you want to put your own enchants on is basically take that piece put it in a uh, a grindstone and remove those enchants thought I'd bring you over to the uh, adults craft ab vanilla server where I'm playing and show you what I have done with my villagers I have done a uh, zombie conversion unit on this. It's a no redstone zombie conversion unit, and I'll put a link in the description. Anybody can do it. It's extremely simple. And this armor right here, was uh, uh, we underwent a zombie conversion just twice, and uh, my diamond armor is now down to just one. And you'll see that I got really lucky with this armor uh, when I did level him and got an unbreaking three diamond helmet. You can also get aqua affinity, and as I mentioned earlier, it's just one less penalty when you go to enchant it in an anvil. But uh, like I said, I'll put a description, uh, put a link in the description for that uh, no redstone zombie villager conversion unit that I have. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want to subscribe for past and future videos that I've done or will be doing in the future, click that subscribe button. It really helps me and lets me know that I provide great quality content for you guys each and every week. Next week, we'll continue with the villager series. And until then, we'll see you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.